What's up, YouTube? It's me, Super Mario DJ here, and welcome back to another special Fred's FNAF series, the Owner's Arc related video. Now, behind me is Discord, and I have a special person here with me today because I got a hold of another voice actor in the Fred's FNAF Mr. Whatever series. This is a great intro. So, um,. I'm going to now introduce our, my special guest, who has never appeared on the channel. So here we go. Three, two, one. Introducing Lucy. Hello. Welcome to my channel. Hello. Hello. So yeah, like I said, new, new person, first special collab of the decade, year, whatever. I mean, decade's already been four months in, but whatever. This is a very messy intro, but yeah, welcome. Special interview with Lucy, the voice actor of Chloe Glade from Last Time Chapter One. Mm -hmm. This so. is later. I don't actually know a lot about the game, so the more game specific questions will be very vaguely answered, and I apologize for that. Uh that that will be that will be fine. Just answer to your best ability and yeah. it should be good. So yeah, let me load up my questions, and here we go. I've got questions for you. Uh, I've done this with another uh, uh, voice actor before. I could probably link that down below, but yeah, let's get on to this. Question one, or the warm-up question. How are you today? I'm pretty good. I had a bit of a headache earlier, but it's gone now, so everything's chill. All right, that, that's good. Good to know. Good to hear. So let's get to uh, question one. What was your reaction when Fred Guy asked you to do voice acting for him? Technically, he didn't ask me. He asked for help with voice acting, and that was back when I did it the first time. He offered, hey, like, I'm, I'm looking for people to help me. I need, like, a female voice to do this role for me. And I'll say, hey, I can do that. Um, and then we did that. And then he came back to me because he wanted to continue the series and wanted, you know, the same voice actress, preferably, for this role, so I was like, sure, why not? Yeah. Uh, so, that's good. Alright, question two. How do you feel about it when people are reacting to your voice acting during the night for a phone call? I can give you my reaction if that helps. Yeah, sure, because I, I haven't really uh, paid attention much, because usually when I watch Matt's streams, they're in the background while I'm drawing or something. I don't actively pay much attention to it, so it completely escaped me what his reaction was, and other than that, I haven't really seen anyone play it. Alright, so my reaction, I honestly was kind of shocked to see a female, like, uh, character in the phone call, like, obviously... It, it's, it's already over. It's already over excited when we got to see the second death of Andrew Stell. But then I think it was pretty cool to see a female role in it. My, I don't. That's just me trying to remember my reaction. I did this all in February. Here we are in April. <laughs> that's fine. But yeah. Uh, oh, good to know. <laughs> but yeah. So I mean, <laughs> you, there you go. There's a reaction, but I mean. Honestly, yeah, I understand that about my, my second question, so I guess we'll just move on to my next one. <laughs> so, question three. How well are you at voice acting? That's a very uh, subjective thing to ask, because like, no, it always depends on the person who you ask. I'm far from professional, but I can modulate my voice rather okay, I suppose. I can do a good DD impression. Um, I also used to, like, read, uh, some webcomics with friends a lot, and I used to do voices for that while we read it. Um, do you want me to do an example? Uh, hold on, that, that gets to, uh, my other questions, but, alright, so okay. you're, you're pretty, pretty well, or pretty decent, at least, when it comes to voice acting? It, it, it really depends. <laughs> alright, well, let's move on to question four, because you were actually jumping to that question. Before we're doing voice acting for Fred Guy, have you done any, like, other previous voice acting roles or just, like, voice acting in general? I haven't really done much voice acting. I tried to do voice acting once, but the project got called off, so never really got to it. Um, it was uh, a comic dub, I, 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 if I remember correctly, and it was, like, way back, and it was just, like, a very experimental thing, so I never got to it. But, again, like, the webcomic thing. Um, 
Homestuck, if anyone knows. <laughs> uh, I always used to do Terezi. Sounds like this. Um, and Carcat, who's kind of more like this? He's like this really angry guy. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, aside from that, I haven't really done much. All right, fair. You said you could do a DD impression for Multiple Custom Night. Yeah. Uh oh, how unfortunate. <laughs> I don't want to do the rest of the line because she pisses me off. All right, fair, but that, that's pretty good. Thanks. All right, moving down the list. Question five. If you could voice any other animatronic slash characters in Fred's series, who would it be and why? I don't know any of the other characters. <laughs> um, so the main reason I was doing this for Fred guy was just... Because I could, you know, he was looking for somebody, and I was like, why not? I'm not actively interested in the series, and I don't really follow it, at least not consciously, so I don't know any of the characters. Sorry. I, I could maybe see you doing another, like, female role, like one of the circus babies, like maybe Showtime Baby from the first game, or, like, another baby character variant. So, yeah. But, yeah, I, I understand that. So, we'll just move on to the next question. All right, question six. How much do you think your character adds to the overall story? Well, considering that she's appeared in one or two nights and is going to appear in several more nights, um, I'd say she's a rather... Not, not just, I don't know if she's like a key character, but I suppose she is because there is a bunch of lines for her. <laughs> I'm not going to say too much. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not, I really don't know. I don't know the story. Uh, I think from from at least the night four phone call of last time, chapter one, I would say semi pretty important because, I mean, she is the cause of a death of one of the main characters. No. <laughs> So, um, I, I would say that's pretty important. I mean, if a main character just gets killed off by another character, I would say that's semi-important. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. Again, no clue. <laughs> Let's just move on. Yeah, so, um, next question. Uh, number seven, what are your thoughts on Fred Guy's game and his story he's trying to tell? I know some of these questions uh, probably could be rewritten or better in the future, but, um, yeah, I know. A lot. You don't know much about the game, so. Yeah, uh, I suppose, you know, they're, they're, from what I've seen actively, um, it's, it's pretty well done. You can see the creativity and, and the heart that goes into it. Um, as for the story, I don't get it. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I don't pay attention to it much, so obviously I don't understand it. Um, but from what I've seen, it puts a lot of effort into it, and I think that's worth something. Yeah, all right. Just from an out. Yeah, I, I get I get that. All right, moving on. Number eight. Would you consider doing voice acting as a career? If so, why? If not, why? Um, I can see I could see that. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's actively something that I want to follow. Although I do really enjoy you know impersonating characters, getting to their mindset, understanding what they're going through, uh, their personalities. I just don't know if I could be able to do it. It's worth a shot, I suppose. But I don't think I will. I've got other problems to worry about. Alright, fair. I understand that. But yeah. Moving on. Number nine. Did you use any filters... Or like, yeah, I was reading that right. To, to your voice lines of dialogue. And how hard was it to do that if there was any? I didn't because I don't know how to work with uh, any audio programs properly. Um, from what I know, um, the other people involved did that if they do anything. I'm not sure if they will or have. Um, but yeah, no. <laughs> didn't do any. Alright, fair. Did anyone help you with your voice acting? Was there any like inspiration for the voice you did? Uh as for help, I had, like, the directions uh, Fred gave me. He gave me, like, a description of the character, the rough one, and, like, what she's supposed to sound like. So I went by that mostly. But other than that, it's just my voice with a bit more 
I tried to make it sound a little bit more mysterious and a bit more like appropriate to the character from what he told me. But aside from that, there's not really been any major inspiration in that sense. It's just me fucking with my voice. All right, moving on. Question eleven: What do you think normal Chloe sounds like to you? Like, so I I might explain this question a little more. Uh, to me, I originally thought Chloe was an animatronic that killed uh, Andrew, but then Fred guy goes no, and I go. Huh. <laughs> so. I mean, again, like, I just did the voice, however, I would try and, like, probably do it. I didn't really think much about it, so I don't know what she would sound like, quote-unquote, normally. Um, I suppose rather similar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's true. That probably is true. <laughs> yeah, so, moving on. Uh... Yeah, uh, we touched upon this quickly, but I'll just ask the question anyways. Was there any direction given from Fred Guy when it came to the voice? Uh, yeah, although I don't... It's been a while since I've recorded the first ones, and uh, I pretty much just listened to my old lines and then did the new ones accordingly. Uh, but mostly, like, the first ones, I was supposed to, like, sound, like, angry, like, really cold, really... Um, not crestfallen, but definitely flat. You know, like, monotonous. There's no heart behind it. Um... Just really cold and uninterested, almost. Uh, but angry, in a way. Uh, but this time, it was more like, she's a bit more normal now. She's a bit more, um, not really human, but more human weight. Um, so there's, like, more emotion to the voice, more, like, care, more feeling to it, I suppose, in a way. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so... I get that. So, yeah. Moving on. What are your reactions to, to some other, like a game like this having other voice act, like more than one voice actor in the game? That's I absolutely love that. Like I absolutely love that there's like several voice actors in in like a game like this, and it's just like a great effort of several people. And I have to, I have to say like I've I've heard some of Matt line Matt's lines when he did them and posted them. Man, that's, they're good. They're really damn good. And I'm excited. Yeah. All right. Uh... <laughs> Well, I'm just going to add a little bit to that question. What do you think of, like, the voice actors? We've got Mr. Matt as, like, I think Andrew and, like, and Steven and last time. We've got me as Lewis Blake and you've got Fred Guy as another character in Night Six. Honestly, I haven't really paid much attention to it. I ha When Matt posted his lines, I had the time at the moment and, like, the device to listen to them briefly, so I did. Just listen into them. I didn't really listen to the others much. <laughs> Again, I'm not particularly interested in the game itself i'm not just there to support and help because why not it's fun um and a heartfelt project like this deserves some help and attention and like just it's just fun to collaborate but other, other than that i haven't really looked into it much all right moving on to the next question if you could give any tips or suggestions to fred guy for future voice acting like roles or like parts in the future what would you say to him um, I'd say when you give your um, lines to the voice actors, you should probably add like a little bit of almost direction, like because sometimes it's a little bit difficult to tell in what like nature something is supposed to get across, and it's gonna be more accurate if you add like say in the way that something is being said, like sadly or angrily, angrily or coldly or something like that. Just like a little bit of descriptive, because he basically just gave us the lines to read off of, uh, and a character description. But sometimes you have moments where it's, like, rather important that, you know, you have a certain, uh, like, you stress certain points more than others in order to get a specific thing across. So, in order to not get, have that lost in the act, it might help to add that. But so far, it's not really been a problem. It's just a very minor thing that might make the experience a little bit better and a bit easier for everyone. All right. That, that's pretty good, pretty cool. All right, moving on. All right, question 15. Did you learn anything new from doing voice acting for Fred Guy for FNAF Last Time Chapter 1? Uh, yeah, I should pay more attention. <laughs> I, I, uh, he actually had to message me and was like, hey, you kind of forgot the line at the bottom. I was like, oh, shit. And I had to re-record it afterwards. But aside from that, I mean, it's nothing really new. It's just, you know reading out the lines, trying to portray them in the best way possible, um, and going by whatever he says. All right. Pretty, pretty good. 
I agree. I understand that. All right. But we have a few bonus questions. Before we get to that, we've got one big final question to get out of the way, so let's get to that. Do you think Fred Guy will ever ask you to return for more voice acting in future projects? I mean, if Chloe really appears as a character, probably. Um, for other characters, I don't know. But, I mean, I would be willing to do it. Absolutely. I, I like doing voice acting. It's fun. And I also would like to continue supporting this project. All right. I just don't know if he would, but I don't see why not. All right, cool. All right, we've made it to the bonus round, as I like to call it, or now, now I'm calling it that, whatever. Bonus round time. So, bonus question number one. According to Fred Guy, the only time Chloe actually possessed the animatronic was Proto Star Baby in Proto Time. So, if Fred Guy would ask you to do the baby animatronic voice, what do you think it would sound like? Difficult. Uh, I suppose not that much different. Maybe a little bit lighter, a bit more hollow in a way. So she's, you know, possessing an animatronic and there's not really much emotion probably going in unless she's trying to manipulate, which I don't know she would. All right, fair. All right. All right. Question two of the bonus ones. This is a fun one, so we'll see how long this takes. So, not all these questions have to be related to Fred's FNAF series. So, I want to ask you, what is your favorite official FNAF game? I'd have to say Pizzeria Simulator. It had a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of extra stuff. The humor was on point. I adored the soundtrack. I adored the voice acting in it. Um, I laughed my ass off in certain places, especially <laughs> some of the mini games. It was just overall such a well-rounded game and a, a wonderful finale for the series. All right. Uh, 2A, what is your favorite character out of this entire official FNAF series? In all honesty, William. Because there's a lot to him and a lot, um, for, a lot in terms of room of interpretation. And I love trying to figure out a character, how they take, how they react, why did the things they did. A lot of my personal, like, um, FNAF theory all revolve around, like, his motives and, um, his story and everything. So, I, I, I mostly enjoy the characters that have a lot, a lot of lore and a lot of information on them and a lot of just personality, which he has. He's a, he's a very, very interesting character. Yeah, I would agree. I like Springtrap William Afton. I don't know why people dislike his scrap trap design, but hey, that that that's people's opinions. I can learn to respect those. <laughs> My problem with it is I'm an artist, and the wrong anatomy and proportions, they just make me cringe inside out. And I'm like, who? Oh, Scott, please, have you not read any anatomy books? Nothing? What? What's going on here? Why does he have bone ears? <laughs> and it's just like, I think it would have overall been better if, you know, I mean, I understand where you try to go with the design, but like the, the, the head size, the head shape, it's overblown to the point where it's kind of ridiculous and you can't take it seriously as much anymore. It's so scary as shit. You just can't take it seriously anymore because of the, the weird proportions. It distracts from the purpose. So that's why I don't like it. It could have been better. All right, fair. <laughs> I, I will still forever in, like Scrap Trap as a character. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. So, um, I'm looking at the time here, and I just re I might I'm gonna just add like another bonus question about like uh you want to do you want to share any like bonus FNAF theories or whatever before it gets like the final interview question? Mm, not really. I'm good. <laughs> All right, I guess I can't we'll think of anything at least. All right, we'll get to uh, the, the the grand finale, the final question of this little interview, the second interview of the series. So, um, what did you think of the interview? That's the final question. What did you think of the interview? I think it was perfectly fine. You put a lot of, you obviously put a lot of thought into the questions. It went all right. I was able to answer most of them. We talked about some of them. It was fine. Yeah. Uh, cool. So there you guys go. There's the the second interview in the the Fred Man FNAF series, his owner arc, whatever. And one more one more bonus question I'm gonna add. If 
if after last time chapter two, would you like to come back for a second interview? Maybe to ask more. Maybe you want we'll understand more. Maybe I'm not particularly interested. Again, like I'm not that interested in the game. I'm mostly helping up because I'm available and I like supporting original projects like this. Um, but other than that, I'm not particularly interested in really learning much about the game. Um, it just I'm I'm generally not a big fan of fan games by themselves, and some often enough the the story just sells over my head. But obviously, I'd be willing to come back for like more stuff about this even though i don't know much about it and don't think i will know much more about it in the future maybe i really don't know it's difficult to say all right fair but hopefully that will give you guys a tease we're still filling the void between fnaf last time chapter one and chapter two but hopefully when chapter two comes it will be good we'll get through the gameplay and who knows maybe more interviews after that we'll see so Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I, Lucy, I've enjoyed having you here for an interview, and I hope people enjoy it. And editing hopefully will be good. Yeah, I, I had fun. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, anything you want to say to the audience before we end it? Uh... Stay at home. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, go go check her out. She has a link in the description as my collaborator, and um, go check out the thumbnail credits because there's another awesome thumbnail made by yours truly with help from other people. So go check that out. So I will see you all in the next video. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and bye. Outro time. Flip. Uh, I forgot to meet myself, Frick.